got our um, dish explanation. <coughs> so, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Here we have the seasonal variation of the sun. Uh, in summer, uh, it's um, this represents uh, half of a satellite dish. And this represents the other half of the dish. So this half has its focus uh, here and this half has its focus here and um, in summer uh, things are lined up like this in winter lined up like that and, and like that at the solstice it's lined up like this and the reason this is good is because with this sort of arrangement this is on equatorial mount, polar mount, and um, the focus is on the axis that it rotates on. And when that happens, uh, the focus remains at the one point all day, as long as it's turning at 15 degrees per hour. And um, what do we want to show you today? Oh yeah, this is turning, but see the collectors are not turning, uh, because they are through the axis. So it's turning on that axis. This is really simple concept uh, but people don't seem to have got it yet. And uh, what else do I want to show you? This uh, represents some sort of cooking pot but it could be a box cooker, why not? This represents, in this case, this represents a little tank for water because um, pasteurization of water is really important in poor countries. So a tank like this, at the focus, this is turning so this is uh, morning, and here's my method for rotating the thing. We have water, this is just a demo, there's nothing in this, but there's water and a float in this, and there's water and a float in this. I'm just going to show you the float. So, so that would, imagine that has the float, this is full of water, I'm sorry this is not full of water, but So here's, uh, here's the morning situation. This is water full to the top or pretty close. This is way down low. Water is let run from this to that at a controlled rate. So that means that the float in that one is going down, the float in this one is going up and they're attached here and it turns this. Uh, you control the rate right and it's really simple. And end of the day, it's over here somewhere. It's a little further, but um, and um, water's up to the top here, water's at the bottom. So in the morning the next day you just pump the water back up from here to here. It's minimal effort. And see this uh, turns easily. It takes a tiny amount of power to pump the water up from, from one to the other. Turns very easily and that's all that's uh, moving it. That small little movement there. And anyway, so once again, this could be um, uh, for heating water. If you have, um, what do you call it? Um, a uh, radiator cap could be used inside this when the water is hot enough, water goes through, it's pasteurized, water is input into it again. Could be a totally free and easy uh, constant system depending on how hot this is. Water goes pasteurized and uh, the radiator valve inside it is turning on and off depending on how hot the water is. So when water is hot, valve is on, water is let out, more water is in and you can have um, the two pipes going through the axis and uh, out. So you can have the hot water heating the in input water as well if the pipes are close together. 
So lots of things you can do with this, but uh, people just uh, not doing anything yet. Here we have a picture of the whole thing. There's uh, everything's there. There's the equatorial mount up top, and in the middle of the mount is uh, the piece that controls the speed of it. So let's just say it's a piece of string and it's going down to uh, this little device that's the timer. The little blue uh, gear rotates anti-clockwise at a fixed rate and the arrow and the square at the bottom are the valve. The arrow goes down, pinches the rubber pipe and closes off the water flow. So if it's open the water is flowing through from top to bottom and moving the uh, equatorial mount and if it's closed uh, no water flows and um, uh, the thing stops moving so that's basically it it's a pretty simple concept and um, there's many many ways of doing it but I just uh, uh, put it down this way uh, because I think uh, this can explain it uh, pretty well um, there's lots of other ways, but this probably works good.